Hello everyone, the Dortmary here. In this video, let us talk about how norepinephrine is synthesized in the presynaptic terminal and is released in the synaptic cleft. So basically, it starts from uptake of tyrosine from the bloodstream. So tyrosine is taken up from the bloodstream via a receptor known as amino acid transporter. Now this tyrosine within the nerve ending is converted into DOPA by tyrosine hydroxylase enzyme. Then this DOPA is converted into dopamine by your DOPA decarboxylase. Right. Now this dopamine is taken up into the presynaptic vesicles by a transporter known as VMAT, that is vesicle membrane active transport. Now this dopamine within the vesicle is converted into norepinephrine by dopamine beta hydroxylase enzyme. Now this norepinephrine thus formed is stored within the presynaptic vesicle. Now there are certain influencers which influence the release of this norepinephrine from this presynaptic vesicle into the synaptic cleft. So this vesicle goes on and fuses with the membrane of the presynaptic neuron and finally leads to release of this norepinephrine into the synaptic cleft. This norepinephrine interacts with the adrenergic receptors on the postsynaptic membrane and completes the neuronal transmission. This norepinephrine later on is taken up by the norepinephrine transporter. This process is known as the reuptake and is again stored into the vesicle via the VMAT. Right? This norepinephrine at the same point of time acts on the alpha-2 adrenergic receptor and this alpha-2 receptor inhibits the release of norepinephrine from the vesicles. The angiotensin-2 receptor on the presynaptic membrane imparts a positive role in release of this norepinephrine and the voltage-gated calcium channels cause an influx of calcium ions from the extracellular matrix into the neurons and this calcium plays a positive role or stimulatory role in release of this norepinephrine. So this is in brief the idea of norepinephrine synthesis and release from the nerve terminals. 